So today we're going to be discussing and working through some things as far as the upcoming vlog sale goes. So stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, find me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, and turn on that bell icon so that way you're notified when I post new content every Wednesday and Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. Whew, that is a mouthful. I need to really condense that. So if anyone has like some scripting ideas, drop them below. Like we need to work on that. Today is kind of a curveball. I am working through a few things as far as the vlog sale goes. So I took an inventory today and I counted all the bags in my collection. That includes all of the designer bags, Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Hermes, Yves Saint Laurent, all of the high-end stuff. I counted my contemporary bags, the, the Coach, the Dooney and Burks, the... Well, that's it. I keep saying that like, oh, we're between like 60, coming up on 70 bags. No, we're at 71. We have bypassed 70, we're right into 71. Regardless of buying a Birkin or not, that is too many bags. Like, I mean, is there such a thing as too many bags? Probably not, but realistically, an average person who works a nine to five, well, nine to six, ugh, it's hard to enjoy 70 plus bags with the average person and their schedule, lifestyle, whatnot, etc. I would like to get that number down to like 50. Ooh, that hurts to say out loud. <laughs> we'll see. But before you hear, you can't really see it on camera yet, but I'll hold them up, don't you fret. I have the bags that I'm quasi on the fence about selling. Some of these are gonna be total curveballs. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, Caleb, what? And then some of these are gonna be like, okay, I see you. I go add to cart. That's another thing. So with the vlog sale, don't claim anything today down in the comments, like save it, wait. The vlog sale is gonna go up on September 4th, 10 a.m. Central Time, it's a Sunday, so make sure to set your calendar, set a reminder, what, whatever you need to do, so that way you don't miss it. There, are, it's, it's, it's gonna be good, I hope, knock on marble. You know, if nothing sells, I mean, oh no, I have 70 handbags in my collection, I'll just have 72 after I buy a Birkin. It's not that awful, I guess, could be worse. I, I don't know the order that we're gonna work through these today, and, and listen, this is just a, small snippet of what's gonna be going into the vlog sale. These are just like the ones I'm kind of questioning, if you will. I can already tell everyone's already thinking about the Balenciaga work in Marine, so let's talk about this bad boy. Listen guys, I absolutely love this bag. When I see the thumbnail of me talking about this bag show up on YouTube, whenever I'm like searching for Balenciaga bags, I fall in love with it all over again. This Marine bag, I think it's from 08, again, in the vlog sale, I'll have like pricing condition flaws, if any. I mean, some some have a few, but most of them are pretty flawless. I'll have all that information in the video. So this is just gabbing. We're just chitting and chatting. And if you're watching this, I just got married yesterday. So that's kind of cool. I'm a married man now. And um, anyway, what was I saying? Okay, I love this bag. I carried this to the DMV with Zane. I think we were getting a license plate for the, the Beamer and I loved this bag. I've carried this to work quite a bit. Like of my Balenciaga, like top handle bags, which is like what this one and like two city bags. I think I favor this one the most, quite honestly. I mean, look at it. Marine blue leather with the giant gold hardware 21 has feet. The corners, I mean, they do show some rubbing, but overall for Balenciaga of this age, I think this is an 08, it's flawless in my opinion. Like not flawless, but she's pretty darn good. Why am I selling it, you ask? It's so big. It takes up a lot of space in the closet. I don't know. I, I love this bag. One, my one complaint, and it's, it's, it's gonna be so minuscule, but because it's such a soft, smushy leather, when you pull up on it and it's got like your stuff in it and like a lot of empty space, cause it's a big bag, it kind of like suctions in on itself and it kind of like falls down here at the top. That's it, that's my complaint. Valid, maybe. Worth selling, probably not. Will I regret it? Absolutely. But one of you will benefit, I bet. It's a gorgeous bag, I keep saying that. <sighs> I took it out of the dust bag to film this video, you guys, and it took my breath away. So will I regret this one? Most likely. When I start to complain about, you know, missing it after I've sold it, remind me my complaints. Sticking in the realm of Balenciaga, let's let's work our way through Balenciaga. There's quite a few up here. Now, I low-key feel like I'm cheating on Balenciaga by selling the majority of my Balenciaga collection. There for a while, we were kind of like a Balenciaga-centric channel, but am I ready to move on? Am I ready to explore new things? Am I ready to make room for, for other bags? Kinda, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna honor my Balenciaga phase, but I think it's time to, to try some new things out. 
in my opinion. So the next two bags that are hitting the chopping block, well one anyway for sure, are my Balenciaga briefs. The carbon is for sure hitting the chopping block or the sales, the vlog sale. This is by far above and beyond the absolute roughest bag in my collection. Now, mind you, the corners, they, they do show rubbing. It's got some split and missing tassels. Like she's she's seen some battle. The mirror is in there. It's just missing the tassel for the mirror. It is what it is. Overall, tons of life left in this bag. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful carbon brown leather, perfect for fall, which is gonna be right around the corner here. I absolutely love this bag. Now, if you guys remember when I first showed this bag off, it was a double unboxing with none other than the beautiful anthracite brief. I am on the fence about this one. Oof, I can't hold both of these at the same time. They're too heavy, hang on. <laughs> when it comes to the anthracite brief, this one is shove leather. So it is the pinnacle of Balenciaga leather from the Moto Styles. Again, giant 21 gold hardware. This is my jam. I absolutely love the giant hardware, like all day, every day. Am I bummed that both of my city bags are just the regular hardware? 100, I mean, they're gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but this hardware is everything. This bag is absolutely flawless and I will absolutely attest to that. Yes, there's some minor rubbing on the corners as to be expected with a Balenciaga. I mean, don't get into Balenciaga if you expect your bag to look flawless. That's that's the first thing. Balenciaga is naturally more moto style, more rugged, more chic. I mean, this bag is stunning. Yes, it does have tassels, which is kind of weird. So the original owner must have asked for extra tassels and had them added to the bag because as you all know, if you watched my Balenciaga guide, Watch it, I'm telling you. The tassels don't come with the Giant Hardware. These were an extra add-on. Giant Hardware only gets the zipper pull tab here. Only the regular hardware truly gets tassels. Thank you to them for buying extra tassels and, and including them with the bag. Love you for that. Now, this one has its dust bag. They, I think they all have their original dust bag. Some might have like a rebag or Yugi's, but we'll get into that in the actual vlog sale. Am I crazy for selling this bag? So part of me is like, this bag's kind of not my style. Again, my handbag guys. There are just bags that you don't quite feel confident with and the brief I've always struggled with. The city bag, the work bag, awesome. I could carry those all day long and not have a single F to give. For some reason, the brief I struggle with. Maybe that's just me, I'm working through it. <sighs> this bag is stunning. And if I remember right, I'm pretty sure it has all of its original paperwork here in the zipper pull, the zipper pocket. So am I crazy for selling this bag? Should I keep the work in this brief? I'm really on the fence. These are going to be a struggle to sell. I'm trying to think of what to talk about next. There's a very random assortment of bags up here. We've got some Balenciaga, we've got some YSL. Let's switch gears and talk about another brand for a hot minute. So this is gonna be kind of a curveball, but I am considering selling one of my YSL Muse 2s. Muse 2s? Two Muses? I don't know what the plural of that would be. Muse 2s, probably, probably, maybe. Eh, eh, English, who knows? And I am, I am really on the fence with this one. So I have two, as you know, I have the original flagship one that Kate Moss wore in all the promotionals. I have this one, which is a full suede body bag with the Nubuck alligator panels, crocodile, I don't know what kind of fake swamp living creature this would be, but I love this bag. It's got the rails on the bottom with the feet. Gorgeous condition, honestly, mint. Why am I thinking about selling this? Oh, okay, I mentioned it in my previous video where I talked about this bag a little bit and I was like, you know what? As a man, this bag does kind of like make me a little bit self-conscious, much like my gorgeous brief. Again, I know I'm working through it. It's 2022, Caleb, wear what you want. I hear you, thank you. Okay, so here's my, here's my dilemma. Do I need two muses? They're both a faux alligator crocodile of some sort. One's blue, one's green. Gorgeous bags, love jewel tones. Do I need two? I don't necessarily love how I feel when I carry this bag and I don't really go out of my, like I'll carry this to work. Like it looks good with a suit and you know, I've got a green shirt, a silk, silky green shirt that I, I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna switch into this for tomorrow to wear with that shirt specifically. But I don't see myself planning outfits for either of these bags. Like if I'm going into the city, these are probably last on my list to pick. Again, that's, that's more me, not the bag. I absolutely love the bags. They're gorgeous, so easy to use. Really quirky, really fun, super under the radar. I mean, classic YSL. You cannot go wrong with this. I don't know if like my lifestyle or who I am really meshes with the Muse 2. Do I bother selling it? Like, would I get much money out of it? Like, I, I mean, I don't know. I saw one hit Facebook Marketplace this weekend and it was like, they're asking 600. Would I get 600 out of it? I really don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research and, and price it out. And I don't know, like, I love the bag. Do not get me wrong, but in the scheme of things, would I miss it if it was gone? That's probably not a good sign if I can ask that question and not have a definitive answer right away. This one might hit the vlog sale and then if it doesn't sell, oops, oh well, I'll just keep it, right? 
maybe. Let's talk about a couple Balenciagas and then we'll get through the Fendi and the Louis Vuitton. So when it comes to Balenciaga, my collection really got started and took off with the envelope clutch. I have here in my hands, Rose Bonbon, Curry. It's in my review video. I know the name, it's somewhere on the tip of my tongue. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'm gonna think about it. But this blue, the blue has my favorite, the rose gold hardware. Curry has the silver hardware. Rose Bonbon has the bright gold. You're like, Caleb, those are absolutely stunning. You're absolutely right. They are, they are flawless. There is not a single thing wrong with these. I don't know if they come with the original dust bags or not. When I took them out, I can't remember what was in, what, what was in what. So I'm gonna have to look in my closet. I mean, everything will come with a dust bag. I love these. Don't get me wrong. Have I reached for them since last summer? I don't think I have. I might've carried this one once this winter with a look. It actually looks really cool with this Mickey Milkovich sweatshirt. I need to buy more Mickey ready to wear, I guess. Um, <laughs> Such a nerd. I don't reach for these. They're sitting on like a shelf behind other bags. I have other clutches in my collection that I would gravitate to towards first. And quite honestly, these days, I'm really not grabbing my clutches at all. Like I can't remember the last time, I think I carried my Balenciaga puffy quilted touchy clutch thing, whatever it's called, like three weeks ago maybe, just for like novelty. Like, oh, I haven't seen that in a minute. Let me get that out. I think that's the last time I carried a clutch. Oh, my Palace beauty bag that I carry as a clutch. I carried that a couple weeks ago. You saw that in my Switch Bags with me, Bulgari drama. If you haven't watched that yet, link down below. Check it out when you're done here anyway. Am I crazy for selling these? Probably. Will I regret it? Yeah, good chance. Probably would. But I mean, these are absolutely stunning. I just don't grab them. They're really not great for work. I, I Like I said, I have the Raisin with the giant covered hardware, that will never leave my collection. And I have the classic black with the rose gold hardware, probably shouldn't leave my collection. I just don't gravitate towards these anymore. Maybe I'll put them in the vlog sale again if they don't sell, like, oops, oh well, I have five gorgeous Balenciaga envelope clutches. Worst things have happened, oh no. But yeah, I'm really torn. Like, do I sell them, do I not? Let me know down in the comments. Should I keep all five? Because I mean, five envelope clutches is kind of a flex, especially in these good colors. I don't know, let the sound off. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. Should I should I keep any of what I've shown you today? Ugh, that work, I have such a love-hate relationship with. I might wanna keep it, I might, I don't know. We're working through it today. What you see up here, there's gonna be more. Will you see all of this? Maybe not, we don't know. That's what today's all about. We're, we're pushing through, we're working, I don't know. Last for Balenciaga is my triangle clutch. You're like, Caleb, that's, what? You're right. So this was actually the very first bag I think that I unboxed on this channel. It's like a full three minute and 40 second video. Why? I don't know. I mean, that was probably took Zane a heck of a lot longer to, to edit than, it, than it's actually been viewed. I don't know. I do like this bag a lot. It's very unique. It's lined in leather, has credit card slots on the inside. Again, is this a great everyday clutch? Absolutely not. With the right outfit, it is kind of fire. Like it's 100% a vibe, not gonna lie. I do like it, but it is so unique. And quite frankly, how do you even hold this bag? Like, do I hold it here, here, here? I have never figured out how to hold this bag. Now, crazy as that sounds, you're like, Caleb, like, what do you mean? It's a bag, just carry it. Like, you're not wrong, I'm kind of crazy, but when it's empty, I have it stuffed now, that's why it's holding its shape so well. All your stuff kind of sits down here at the bottom. And so you're kind of thinking like, okay, well, I obviously want to show off the Balenciaga. Like, I'm not carrying a Balenciaga bag not to, you know, show it off. So you hold it here, but then it kind of collapses. So do you hold it here, 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 do this. I don't know, I've never been able to figure it out. I do love carrying it though. It, it does get compliments whenever I go out and it's in pretty good condition still. So it'll probably go into the vlog sale. It's, it's time for me to move on a little bit from all the Balenciaga and I'm probably gonna regret it. You'll probably be seeing this in the vlog sale, September 4th, mark your calendars. And that brings me to the final bag of this hodgepodge of a video. If you've made it this far, congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. Zane will probably not let me sell this bag. I have such a love-hate relationship with it. It literally drives me crazy. None other than the Louis Vuitton Danube. I love this bag and I hate this bag. The main reason I bought it, I saw this cute guy on Instagram. He was carrying it with like a cream outfit. I think I even screenshot it. That's like how much I loved it. I think he was walking through like Italy or Bali, somewhere fun and exotic that I'd rather be than here. And it looked so cool on him. Like he really pulled this bag off. Like, I mean, it's a small LV messenger, so it's not like it's very hard to pull off, but he did amazingly. I do love traveling with this bag. Like when we're out and about, especially when we were in Spain last year, I carry this every day. In fact, I got caught in the rain with it. And because the vachetta is so nicely patinaed, it really doesn't show any of the spots, which is amazing. However, my main complaint about this bag is how fiddly the strap is. Like it's, it's a constant battle, quite frankly. And once you do have it figured out, 
this little piece as you're walking constantly falls down. Zane like makes fun of me. He's like, just leave it down. I'm like, I am so anal about things. Like I have to keep it up. It drives me crazy. I do love this bag and I got very lucky with it because I think at some point, as you all know, this has that awful Vietnite lining on the inside that just ends up getting like sticky peels and falls apart. I think a previous owner actually had this sent back into LV for repair and they replaced it with that Armagnac leather. Would I ever find a bag in this condition ever again without the sticky pockets? Unlikely. Would I sell it? Would I not? I don't know. I mean, Ariana Grande did carry this in the PM, so there's that street cred, I guess. <laughs> but I don't know. I've I've always struggled with this bag, but I, I, I do love it when I travel. Now, when we're here stateside and I'm going into the city, going down to work, going out to Target, do I reach for this bag? Absolutely not. I have to like force myself to carry it when we're at home, but when we travel, it comes in handy. So I'm 50-50 I'm with this one. 50-50 with a lot of these, quite honestly. This is going to be so hard, you guys. Going from 70 bags and trying to get like down to 50 is going to be so hard. It is literally going to be an exercise in just like letting go. I'm going to have to Marie Kondo my closet. It's 20 22. Can we still say Marie Kondo as a verb? Or would that be an adverb? Again, much like math, English is not my strong suit. There's that. Thank you guys for joining me today. We, we kind of rambled. We, we visited a few of the options that I'm considering. I'm still really on the fence about this guy. I, I just don't know. It's cute. I love it. It's gorgeous. But do I need two Muse 2s? Especially when I don't go out of my way to style them. I probably know the answer to that. That's, it's, yeah, I probably know the answer. Anyway, you guys, Thank you so much for joining me. As I said, mark your calendars. Sunday, September 4th is the big mega vlog sale, 10 a.m. Central Time. I am not quite sure about the logistics yet, so I'll come up with all the rules. They'll be in the descriptions. I'll go over it in the video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm done rambling. I'm done boring you. We worked through it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you want to see some of these in the vlog sale? Like, don't claim them yet, because it won't count. But do you want to see these in the vlog sale, among other things? Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine bags here and I need to pick out 11 more. So there's that. Love that for me. Anyway, you guys, thank you for coming today. I've said that like four times already. So it's time to end the video. I hope you have a great week and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye-bye.